mere man spent in Ghana, not knowing what to expect. Little did I know how much it would affect. I thought I'd volunteer to help others, help the children and community. But if anything, the experience succeeded most in transforming me. There's so much I miss about Buzwa, the beach town in which we resided, the beautiful sea, the community and all else that it provided. Everyone was so humble and so grateful for everything they had. It hit me there and then, and partly made me sad. For in the West, we're so caught up in the culture of consumerism and greed. For us, the goal is money, and we need it to succeed. But all they desired was faith, stability and good health. No wonder they're so satisfied without craving endless wealth. I miss the children's beaming faces and enthusiasm to learn, the way they'd sit and answer questions, just waiting for their turn. When I arrived, I only gave them crayons and bouncy balls, not really much to boast. It was nothing to me, but to them it meant the most. And though it brought me so much joy to see their little faces beam, it also made me realise how differently they dream. For in the UK, if we received a single crayon as a gift, we turn our noses up and subconsciously be miffed. But their lives are full of hope and aspiration without chasing money and fame. Instead, working hard and taking care of each other seem to be their primary aim. So the greatest lesson I learned out there is that we really need to reassess our priorities and be grateful for all that we possess. Those children had little material wealth, but their happiness truly radiated. And I think pure contentment like that in the West is long awaited. For we may be rich in capital, but in spirit we are poor. Unless we reflect more deeply and bring gratitude back to our core, for appreciating the little things can open our hearts to so much more. That's just a little something I wrote to reflect on my time in Ghana and highlight the most important lessons I learned. In our society, it's so easy to get caught up in our everyday struggles and problems that we face. And while a lot of that is valid, it can sometimes make us lose focus on just how much we really have. It's so easy to get caught up in chasing the new phone or the big job and while these things may advance our social statuses and increase our material happiness, there's definitely a level of contentment that's not accessible through that. When you strip away the money and the technology and the social media attention, we're left with things of genuine importance like faith, good health and love. And I think the beauty of Ramadan is that it really allows us to appreciate that. So this year, as you abstain from food and other habits, use your time to acknowledge that while we may not be in the financial positions we aspire to be in, or have the material things we desire, there's so much more to life and happiness that we can appreciate along the way.